Hey guys, it's been a while, and um, this video is going to be on how to work out certs, so GCSE certs. Um, this isn't too hard, but um, let's see how it goes, and if you do have any problems or difficulties, please leave a comment or inbox me asking for any help. Okay, so first I'm going to um, give two rules which will be very useful when working with certs. So, uh, this will be, okay. If it's a and b in here, so a times b under the square root, that's the set obviously, this equals root a times by root b, simply. So if you see that, then it's that. Um, also, square root of a over b simply is the square root of a over square root of b. Now, you need to learn these rules they're not exactly very hard um, but yeah just um, pause it here write these down and just learn them okay um so once you've taken those rules down uh, i'm gonna get i'm just gonna give a question now okay a we want to simplify this uh okay so as we know from the first rule from here we can find two smaller numbers um, underneath to work it out. So if we do this, we want to find a square number so that you know your square numbers. Uh, yeah, 4, 9, 16, 25, all those which can be squared. So here uh, for 12, we can guess 4, which can be squared to, uh, square rooted to 2, uh, times by 3. And simply because the square root of 4 becomes, well, let me, let me just write this out in smaller steps. So that's the first step, work it out. Remember the first number should be squared because you want to be able to square it. And this simply is root 4 times root 3, which is the rule uh, that I showed earlier. And then the third step, root, uh, root 4 becomes 2 because the square root of 4 is 2, which you should know and root 3 is simply root 3 and this is the simplified version of um, the square root of 12 so that's the first question let's do b now um, square root of 20 over 2 what we're we going to do there first like we did here we're going to simplify this right so root 20 square number that would be easy i'm, I'm going to take 4 again so 4 times 5, this equals root 4 times by root 5, obviously over all over 2. Once you do this, let's work that out. So root 4 is 2 root 5, because root 5 is just root 5, still over 2. And then the 2 and the 2 divide, and we get root 5, which is simplified from there. Okay? Um, so it's it's really easy, um, not that hard at all. But I'm gonna get a, a harder question now, which will be a good A star question. So just bear uh, bear with me one second. Okay, so here we have a, a more complex question on certs, but trust me, don't worry, this is nothing hard. Um, you just need to take it simply. So 5 root 6, um, we can't exactly do more simplification to that, so let's just write 5 root 6, take away 2 root 24. Now earlier we said we could make this more simple, um, that's exactly what we're going to do. So 2, we can do, um, it will be easier if we keep uh, a similar factor. So if we have root 6 here, let's try to find a factor of 6 here. So root 6 times by 4, which is the square number, and root 294 is root 6, because we need 6 there. And if you work it out and you calculate it, 294 would divide by 6, uh, 49, which is a square number. So it should work out. All right, so once we have this, we can take out this, uh, well, we need to make this simpler. So 5 root 6, take away 2 times by root 6 times by root 4 plus 
root 6 times by root 49 just to make it more clear as you can see and now we can take a root 6 out of the bracket as a factor so root 6 times by 5 equals 5 root 6 um, so minus here uh, root 6 times by this so we need 2 root 4 because we have a 2 here and the root 4 here because we've taken that out and uh, after that when we take the root 6 from there we just need root 6 times by root 49 and that has been factorized so if you if, if you don't know what's just happened 5 times root 6 is 5 root 6 2 times 2 root 2 the square root of 4 times root 6 is that or pretty much that and root 6 times root 49 is root 6 times root 49 uh, once you have done that just clear up in here so root 6 on the outside 5 take away root 4 is going to be 2 so that's basically 2 times 2 which is 4 and root 49 is obviously 7 you should know that uh, once you've done that just clear, clear up there, so root 6, 5 take away 4 is 1, add 7 equals 8, 8 times root 6 is 8, root 6, and that is our answer. So if you didn't understand that, um, just uh, let me explain it again. We had 5 root 6, take away 2 root 24 plus root 294. We tried to simplify our thirds, so here we got 6 times 4 and 6 times 49. Notice we use 6 because we had 6 here and we wanted to create a factor on the outside. Once we did this, we took the root 6 as a factor on the outside, wrote this into the brackets, simplified the brackets, and then got our answer. Um, I hope you understand. Uh, this was just a, a quick video on SEDS. I will make another video on SEDS if need be. And uh, thank you, uh, thank you once again for watching.